and we'll go Goku. That's the Super Superhero Vegeta and the Super uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero Goku. So that's what we got. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, there's your fused Zamasu and your Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Today on the channel, we're going to be unboxing Super Saiyan Future Trunks and Fusion Zamasu. This is a Dragon Ball Super uh, figures um, from Bandai, uh, Dragon Stars, of course. Uh, this is a two pack that, honestly, I really just wanted the uh, trunks out of this, to be very honest. <laughs> um, I saw this one for sale quite a few times. They had it over the holiday season for um, pretty cheap over at uh, Ross. Um, but I had seen it even cheaper because um, I think they wanted 20 at Ross, uh, maybe 25, something like that. And I had seen it for 15 on Amazon. And uh, I waited and it went back to 15, so I snatched it. It is brand new in the box, no warehouse deal or anything. This was not a popular set. I think just because, I don't know, Zamasu looks pretty comical. I don't know. I mean, obviously, that is what he looked like, you know. The, 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 fused, the fusion of uh, Goku Black and Zamasu together, that is what he looked like, but there's just something something about it that's just not quite right. I wonder if maybe I get out of the box and with that huge arm, maybe it's like almost impossible to stand him up, I'm not sure. The trunks looks okay to me. It looks almost just like reuse of uh, uh, future trunks, um, the Broly Build-A-Figure wave, um, but I don't know, we'll see. But I needed a Super Saiyan version, so. That's why I got this, and it was cheap enough, you know, 15 bucks for two figures, even if they're not great, I will take it. So, that said, there's the front of the box. Let's flip it around to the back. That is kind of a cool, cool picture on the back. There we go. And we'll flip to the first side. I may have to pull the camera back, yeah. The box is pretty long. There it is. It kind of is warped on the bottom, so it's leaning back. <laughs> Trunks on this side. And over the top is your Dragon Stars logo, silver. Your bottom is your barcode legalese. I am going to pull up closer so you can kind of see some stuff. Otherwise, that far back is just like unable to see. I'll just kind of scan it over. And we'll stop on the barcode in case you need that for whatever reason. All right, let's set it here. And, uh, well, the camera's already kind of back, so I don't have to do that, but we'll get a closer look at everything. Bandai 4 Plus, Bandai Namco. Warning. That. All right, there is Dragon Ball Super logo right there. Looks like you get some extra hands, so some blast hands and some punchy fists, and it looks like he's got a holy hand installed. Okay, so he has another holy hand right there, and then a punchy fist installed. Okay, I was like, wait, we get three punchy fists? No, I get it. And there he is, Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Looking pretty cool there. I hope he's, his head comes up. That's kind of one of the problems. I don't like when their chins hit their hit the body, the torso, all the time. It's nice if it can do it, but I also hope the head can go back a little bit. And it looks like it comes with his sword holder and a broken sword and his regular sword and then the big weird sword. But, you know, it kind of grows and that's how he defeats if I remember right, I think he uses that to help defeat um, Zamasu in this form. So he just comes with one extra hand because this one, you cannot replace the hand. It's so huge they didn't give you a second hand. Uh, but there he is, the split face. And that ring on the hand and looking creepy. And Dragon Star is there and Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Back of the box. Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Stars, and that huge mural. We're, we're just gonna kind of scan it. So there's Trunks, that huge sword, and fused, fused Zamasu right there. And there's some more. Let's see. We might just kind of scan it this way so you can see everything. It's a kind of a hard box to get on camera. There we go. Let's set it. Um, I kind of like to get it from the bottom, so I'm going to cut these two pieces right here. Tilt down so you can see that. Let me grab my X-Acto knife. While I'm cutting this tape, just want to say if you're enjoying this video, if you give it a like. 
if you enjoy action figure unboxings, toy hunts, uh, everything fun action figure related, uh, go ahead and subscribe to Hate With That on my shelf and get that all in your feed. And if you have a fun comment for videos or for this video, that is greatly appreciated. Well, that said, let's see if we can get these guys out of the box. All right, a couple flaps here. Oh, we're just going to pull this whole thing out. Oh, there we go. Usually they have like, oh no, no, never mind. I was going to say there's a, usually a background picture, but it's actually, it's still in this. What am I thinking? We'll pull this out and there's your background picture. Oh, it's the future, the dystopian future. Poor Trunks' is future, destroyed by Zamasu and Goku Black. All right, let's get, uh, let's get some of these accessories out. There's that sword, that big weird sword. Like, yeah, it just kind of looks like Super duper, duper, super duper kids toy. I don't know. It's funky. It definitely won't be going up. I don't know. My daughter will probably have fun playing with it though. It just kind of slides over the sword, I believe. Let's see. Oh, he's holding the sword. We'll get that out in a minute. Oh, it's got plastic eyes. Or if I can just get through it. No, I'm gonna have to cut all these plastic ties. Darn it. All right, let's get the one trunks two. Is that it? Just two? Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. So there's the sword, and yeah, it's got the fakie that goes inside. I really wish you could actually put the sword inside of this. Would have been way cooler than just having this. My focus would just stay on this. Would be really great. Come on. But yeah, I wish the actual sword could uh, fit all the way inside here instead of just this little dummy uh, sword handle. Darn, because that is exactly like uh, Future Trunks figure. All right, let's get this one out. There's the busted one. My camera just does not want to focus today, I guess. Come on, jeez. It's usually I go like that and we're good, but all right. So there it is, looking pretty busted. And uh, let's go with the hands. deep in there. Whoop. Oh, it popped in my face. Right out of my cheek. There it is. Oh, and I dropped it again. This is a slippery little hand. All right. Let's, let's see. So here's the hands. I uh, was showing in the box, but there they are up close. And Thomas's blast hand. Nice and green. Very good. All right. Pull Zama two out of here first. Yeah, he's he's pretty pretty heavy on the side there. Well, there goes his arm. Okay, it would have been cool if it, if this set had a regular arm that you could sh shove in and a different head sculpt. Oh, this this thing would have been one heck of a cool set to get. But now that you're stuck with this, hey, you actually can stand. Okay, got to get him just right apparently. But that worked. And trunks. Get this plastic out of the way. All right, he is looking like the same body as the future. Yeah, this, this hair is hitting the back of his shirt. I mean, his head goes up a little bit. It's not perfect, but it doesn't look horrible. Not bad. This sword is nice and bent because it was in his hand. Look at that sucker. What? Oh, he threw his sword at me. He threw his hand with his sword at me. Trunks, what the heck? All right, let's get this hand off of here. Yeah, but look at what it did to the sword. Womp womp. I'm sure, oh, it's bending, it's super, it's already back. It's super soft. Let's get that hand back on. Okay, let's real quick uh, check him out next with uh, this future Trunks. This is the Broly Build-A-Figure. It's looking like a lot of reuse. Look at even the pants rip thing. Just a new paint job, basically. Yep, oh, where did this thing go? Oh, that's right here, duh. But yeah, you just have to push it on. Yep. So, looking like the exact same figure, just with new paint and a new head. So, yeah, I wonder if that's why, because this is, 
I don't know. I love trunks, but this is not the best version of trunks. And to use the exact same body again, maybe is why this set didn't sell. Plus that Zamasu is, I don't know. If it would have been an updated trunks, you get another arm and a new head for Zamasu. Oh man, I think this thing would have sold like crazy. But yeah, definitely wouldn't, I'm glad I didn't pay more than 15 for this. I will say that. But I think it's worth $15. I think so. Yeah, let's do some articulation here. Start with trunks. So that's it for head up. I mean, you can't go any further up. Head down, just a tad. Not a whole lot of movement there. His head is totally stuck in there. Um, arm, it's just a peg on a rocker there. Gets a little funky because you can see that peg going in. Up in there, it's really kind of wobbly. Uh, you do have a bicep cut, so it will spin on that peg right there. Double jointed elbows does have the pins, all the Dragon Stars do. And then you have a, so you got a rocker with a, with a ball joint on the end of it, and that's how the hands and feet work. And I like it. It works pretty well. And then the waist is a ball joint. So there's your back, forward, side to side. Not a whole lot in the right, uh, the side to side action and stuff like that, front and back. It's more just to swivel. Um, the legs, you got a ball joint going in right there. That's all his leg kicks out really is about right there. Kicking forward, not great either. I mean, I can kind of push it. That's about it right there. But it's not going to go anymore. Um, I'm not going to sort off all. Um, you do have that thigh cut piece inside of his leg, which is great instead of having a thigh cut here like Hasbro does. <clears throat> so that works really well. Double jointed knee. And it looks fine, but it has the pins. Uh, no boot cut, though. Would have been nice to have a boot cut. Uh, you have that, uh, uh, it's just like the hand, the rocker on a ball joint. So, yeah, just like the future trunks that came with the Broly Builder figure. I'm sure there's other versions of trunks that might even be reused as well. Um, I am seeing, nope, the arm is. Because I, I was like, oh, there's like a cut on his arm. But it's reused. It's exactly the same. Same mold, exactly. Okay, and then Zamasu. There, you know what, that is a great looking head sculpt. The head does look really nice. I don't like this big pin in the arm right there. And if you could have just got a, if you could have turned this into a regular Zamasu and then turned him into Fused, this would have been one heck of a cool figure. But I get it, they want to sell two different ones. All right. So, let's see. Head back is it. That's it right back there. Head forward is about there. A little bit of side to side, but not a ton of movement there in that ball joint, but a little bit. Uh, there's your peg on a rocker. There's your peg going in and your rocker. It's actually a ball joint. Ball joint inside of there and a rocker. It's hard to get it to move, but it does. It'll, it'll move. You can get it all the way weird looking too. Uh, no bicep cut. You got double jointed elbow, but with pins, and it's huge. No, no waist or waist. Uh, wrist articulation would have been nice to have at least a cut that you could spin it or something. It just looks really, really static. I do like the ring on there. That's cool. Uh, we'll do the uh, the other arm too, since uh, it's totally different than this one. It's peg on a rocker there. Same deal on the shoulder, and then you do have a bicep cut on this hand. Double jointed elbow there with the pins, and then uh, you do have the rocker. Um, the rocker there with the ball joint on the end of it. The waist is a ball joint. Ugh, there it is. Didn't even mean to do that, but it did. It doesn't go forward and back a ton. I can't get it back in. There we go. Not a ton. There's your back. There's your forward. Just it, barely, barely. Um, it's mostly just a spin. Uh, your legs are pretty stuck in this. It's softer plastic, but it is not going to bend. There's no cut or anything here, so that's it. So there's just a ball joint going in. It does have that thigh cut piece as well. Not up here, but inside. Um, you can't even really get the legs back. But it's got these weird looking, are these the same legs as the Goku Black that are kind of weird? It looks like it. But you can't move them hardly anyway. I mean, you can get some, some posing, but it is really restricted inside of here. And it does have the pins. It is double jointed, but can't really move it a ton. There is no, this would have been perfect for like a boot cut. There is no, it's all molded in right here. This would have been perfect to put a peg right there and be able to swivel the 
the boot, but you can't. And there's a front, or I'm sorry, there's a uh, ball joint on a rocker there for the foot. So, standard uh, Dragon Stars I, positives. That is a cool looking head sculpt. That I like a lot. It looks nice. I originally thought when I saw pictures of this and you're further away, it I don't know, I'm like, nah, it's, I'm, that just looks corny. It looks, I don't know, I don't really like it. But man, when you get up close and you get a focus, <laughs> I don't know, it looks really good. And I like it a lot. That's a big positive for me. Um, we've talked enough about the negative. Let's just kind of look at the good stuff. Um, trunks, I mean, he looks okay. It's not a horrible head sculpt. Let's see if we can take this head off and put it on the other body. Not that it matters. It's like the exact same. It is the exact same body, just colored different. But if you had to. So I actually put some sticky tack in the top of the head of mine to keep his head up just a little bit because I can't stand when it's down. I don't know if we could do that with this one or not. Whoop. Head on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. It fits, it's exactly the same. It's just a different skin tone. You can see this feature trunks is much lighter and this one's got a little bit of a tan-ish. So just a different color. Actually the head, I feel like the head sits better on this body. Is that weird? Because it's the same? I don't know. Let's see what this head looks like on this body. Because if that's the case, then I'll, well, yeah, it's pretty down. I don't know. If it was the same skin tone, it'd be different, but... Eh, it is what it is. Oh, I lost this. What do you call this? Scabbard? Scabbard? I don't, I don't remember. Just a sheath? I don't know. A, a sword holder! Dropped it. Alright. So, the heads do, but the as they usually do, it's got a different skin tone. I don't have another Zamasu. So I can't, um, I don't have the regular Zamasu. If I ever get it, then I'll try to swap it with this one. And I don't have any other trunks, so these are the only two trunks I have. All right, let's get this in a better shot and I'll kind of just go over everything they come with. And then in the posing, I'll add all the swords and things, all the different accessories. Oh, come on, stay standing. All right, so you get, uh, this fake sword inside of there, the regular sword that keeps, yeah, I'm going to have to hot bath that to get it to uh, bend back the other way. Because it's just, it, it'll stay, but then it'll just start creeping back. Um, the broken sword, the big old weird sword that I think this just fits inside of. Oh, it's for the broken sword. That's right. Does it matter which way? Nah, either way. That's... It barely even goes in and it doesn't snap or anything. So that's kind of funky. Like when he's holding it, if your pose is too low, well, maybe it kind of stays in. I thought it was going to fall right off. It's better than I thought. Now there it goes. It's not perfect. It fits in, but it doesn't snap or anything. Alright, we're going to throw that over here just because it's so weird. Big. Then you got your extra hands. A lot of good hands for trunks. I like that. Um, and then the one hand for Zamasu. So that is everything you get in this two pack of Dragon Stars here. Let's wipe away these accessories. And then we're going to throw some other figures here for scale. And just to see how cool they look next to them. Let's go Vegeta. Right there. So we can get everybody together. And we'll go Goku. That's the super superhero Vegeta and the super... Uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero Goku. So that's what we got. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, there's your fused Zamasu and your Super Saiyan Future Trunks. All right, stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.
Thank <laughs> you.